for me, character is a be all and end all of particularly fiction. Um, I I cannot I can imagine a, a short story without a clear beginning, middle, and end. I can imagine a, a, a story without dialogue or without description. I cannot imagine a story without a character. Might not it might not be a, a human character. It could be the you know the the dog who who crosses the mountains to find his master, or the haunted house waiting for its next victim. But there is always a central viewpoint, always a central character's viewpoint, and therefore I, I don't think I, when we begin writing, I don't think we should think about what should I write. I think we should think about who should I write about, and. Um, that's another bit of advice I would give to ins- aspiring writers. Think about the who. Think about the character that you're writing. I think the key for me to writing about a character is consistency. Your characters have to be consistent. That doesn't mean that they can't surprise the reader. But that surprise must s- appear to come naturally out of what people have been told before. Okay? Um, it's, it would be very difficult to write about a sweet little old lady who is just the nicest person in the world uh, and then in the last paragraph turn her into a serial killer. Um, but that's not to say that with other characters you might not be able to do that if you've laid the groundwork. So even the surprises have to be consistent. So therefore, if you're writing about character, I would suggest that you try to know your character more than you need to know for the story. So think about a character. What kind of music would they like? What kind of clothes would they wear? What what uh, kind of books would they read? What kind of people would they gravitate towards? Uh, what might their political beliefs be, etc.? Try and get a picture, as I say, try and get a bigger picture than you need for the story. Everything that's together, everything is absolutely important, even down to the character's name. I remember once... Um, Tutoring a girl in in my class, uh, we were we were work we were planning characters for short stories, and she was planning a, a checkout girl. And this checkout girl was blonde, and she chewed gum, and uh, she she listened to loud music on her, her Walkman, and she had uh, clumpy heels, and and she had uh, piercings, big earrings, and things like that. A bit of a stereotype. Um, and as she was doing this, I said, OK, what's this character's name? I said, I, I don't know, I haven't thought yet. So, oh, come on, give her a name. And in my head, I'm thinking Sharon. And I apologise to, apologize to any Sharons out there. But I was thinking Sharon. Um, so I said, come on, think, think about name. And she said, um, OK, how about Sharon? And I went, yes, well done, well done. That's just what I was thinking. So she then went on to, to plan... Um, Sharon's boyfriend, and this was a boy who wore a, a, a shell suit and a, a baseball cap. I'll tell you how long ago it was, um, and uh, and uh, again had earrings and was a bit spotty. And um, I said to her, "Okay, give me his name. Give me his name." I said, "I don't know. I don't know. You really ask. You, you ask really difficult questions." And inside, I'm thinking Kevin. And again, I'll apologise to any Kevins out there. Uh, but I was thinking Kevin. Kevin. Uh, and she said, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm thinking, Kevin, Kevin, come on, Kevin. I said, what's his name? And she went, Andrew. Now, the really strange thing is that I have twin nephews. One is called Kevin and the other is called Andrew. And I think that little story illustrates just how important even a name is to the overall perception we have of a character. So invest time in really thinking about your character. I think I, I think I know my characters very well uh, because most of my stories are very very character driven, um, and so I, 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 I'm very close to my characters, uh, no matter what they're like. The thing I find though is I very very rarely describe my characters, even if I'm dis- even if I'm describing in third person. So I I wouldn't write Raymond entered the room. He was wearing a blue shirt and black jacket. He was uh, he was a typical fat hairy Scotsman. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't write that because I like my reader to kind of get their own impression. So I've got a picture of my character, uh, but I don't mind creating all the psychological details um, 
of the character so that the reader can interpret it, interpret that character themselves. Um, so yeah, although I know my characters, I very rarely describe them. But what I do try to get is a real sense of voice. I try to hear this character speak uh, in my head, and that might mean um, that might mean that it's important that you read your story out loud, that you actually hear your character's voice, test out the voice that this character would use, the inflections, the pace, um, the, the, the vocabulary they would use. Test it out, hear it, because um, I, th I think even more powerful, even more powerful than how someone looks, uh, or as powerful as how someone looks, is how they sound, how we respond to their voice. Because their voice tells us a lot about them. It tells us as, as how warm they are, or whether they're anxious, or worried, or happy, or sad. And so, you know, what a character sounds like is absolutely vital, I think.